everybody. We are going to be making this jar today. I know that I've been making a lot of jars lately, but it is definitely something that has been really fun for me. And this one is a new mold that I haven't used yet. And it is going to be more of just the straight up and down mold. And it also has the same as the melon shaped mold um, where you can have the seal, the closed seal down this way. But I've actually kind of decided that I actually like it better just sitting on the top. I'm gonna to make my lid upside down so that it's facing up instead of down, okay? So I've got some resin made up right here. This is only about four ounces. I'm gonna go ahead and pour just that amount into my jar. I'm gonna spray some alcohol in here really quickly so that it can kind of start getting around the edges there. I don't think bubbles will be a problem in this mold, but you um, can never be too safe. There's no bubbles in my resin right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and pour. And like I said, I want this to be clear because we are going to add our little flowers and things. Okay. Now while this is kind of sitting here for a minute, I'm going to get the flowers ready that I want to use and I will be right back. Okay, I am back and I mixed up more resin for our next part and I have decided on, um, I'm going to be using these roses here and they're dried roses and I actually have a bit of, of baby's breath somewhere here and I might try to stick a little bit of that down inside here if I've got time to do that. So I'm going to take these out. Okay, you can get these kind of dried flowers. They Sometimes they, um, I've bought some of them on Tamu and I've bought some of them on Amazon. Okay, so they are um, just dried flower stickers. They're not actual dried flowers but they look like them. They're very realistic. And I've got all different kinds of flowers that I bought this way. And um, these have translucent backgrounds on them. And you can get all kinds of, uh, of greenery as well. So let's see, how's that resin doing in there? It's doing pretty well. So let's see. Now I'm going to have to cut some of these off. So, And we're going to be working the top of our jars down here so we're going to be working upside down but here look at how realistic this really looks I mean, except for the shine huh <laughs> but um just pretty realistic looking rose here get my scissors out get ready to cut some of this and just kind of fold it down in there and kind of see where it's going Cut this down here. Just a little bit more. There we go. Stick this one down, way down inside of there. Okay. I've got some more resin already made up here, but uh, let's see maybe. This is kind of a big sprig, but what do you think about putting that one in there as well? So it's not, maybe it's not all red. Let's see, this one will go kind of this way. Yes. Just kind of put it down inside there and just kind of try to push it down to the bottom because I can see. stick helps quite a bit. Okay. Stuff back down inside of there. Okay, I think this is gonna be this is gonna turn out pretty good, I think guys. Okay, let's see, maybe 
on this side. Maybe we will do, uh, let's see, this is two separate ones. Okay, I think we will do this one here. With a single one. Oops, gosh, I gotta make sure I'm doing these going out the right direction. inside of there and then I mean, technically we've got room for one more but you know I don't think I'm gonna I don't think I really want to add any more I think I kind of like it the way it is I could add a leaf or something in there but I kind of feel like I just want to kind of see what happens with it with what we've got okay I'm gonna pour a bit more resin in here now and get it to go to go in between these two sides. Whoops. And I also need to pick out um, a flower for my lid here. Because my lid is going to be facing up, I'm going to put a bit of resin in the bottom of this to kind of give it a, more of a embedded look there. Let's see how we're doing in here. Don't see any bubbles in here yet. Looks like we've got looks like we've got resin all the way around behind these and in front of them. That's what we need. Make sure the resin's coming up in front of these flowers. Okay. Now my bubbles I saw were over here around this floor. Is there something more in there? Okay, do I need anything right there? I just don't know. I mean, we could do like half a flower right here. Just because there's kind of a blank spot. Let's see here. Go ahead and fill this up. It's getting all in between all the places we need it to go. Okay. So I'm going to set this aside for a minute. It's looking pretty good I think here and I will bring you down to show you what that's going to look like. Now for this one, okay, so that looks pretty clear. So now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this this rose here and I'm going to this is going to be my top piece so I'm going to cut it about here I don't care if this floats around a bit. I really don't care where it goes inside of here. I um, just want to make sure the bubbles are out. It can't go very far. Okay. So now let me see if I can find my, my dried baby's breath. Here. Okay. So I might see if I can put, there's plenty of room in here with this flower. I might try to put a sprig or two one that's got more on it. Oops, that one. Put in there. Okay. 
flower's looking pretty good here. I'm not going to try to stuff any baby's breath down in there. Not now. I poured it too full. So, let's see. I've got a bit of resin left here. I might just go ahead and pour this. There's no bubbles in this. You can always wait till your resin's a bit thicker to try to place flowers and things inside. Um, usually that's what I do, but just for the purpose of the video, I just kind of wanted to show you what I was going to do, and then I'll just poke them down every once in a while. The resin was pretty warm, so it's not going to take long for it to thicken up and for them not to move around anymore. Okay? All right. So I'm going to um, clean up my mess real quick, and then I'm going to bring you down and show you what this looks like from this side. Okay? I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I'm sorry I've got my, my uh, air purifier going, so I know it's a little bit loud, but um, but here's our lid. It's topped off with resin. There's our rose. Um, some of our baby's breath is sinking. Some's floating a little bit, but that's okay. And then here is our jar with our roses, okay? I'm not going to move it and tr twist it around, um, but I just wanted to show you what we've got in there so far so yeah i'm really excited for this so as soon as it's cured i will bring you back and we will demold this all together okay i will see you then hello everybody we're back our jar lid and the base here is um completely cured so let's go ahead and take it out i'm excited to see how this turned out should be kind of a a pretty kind of a you know really pretty floral vintagey kind of a look we have a couple of our baby's breath that kind of floated towards the top but they're completely covered in the resin here so it didn't really hurt anything so let's turn this over and see how it looks oh wow here's our rose so turned out pretty I do see a few little um, like tiny little bubbles or something here. This was along the edge of the transparent part of this rose. Okay, so I'm not sure exactly what happened right there. We don't have bubbles anywhere else. Really, it's, well, maybe just a couple up in here, but really pretty, um, pretty clear. And I know that I did touch that part, so I don't know if that's what it's from or not. But anyway, here's our lid. Still very pretty. Now let's break the steel on this and see if we can get it out of here. It's always fun trying new, new things to see how they do. And I think I'm gonna just peel this one, kind of peel it back here, maybe with some. I have to use some alcohol. I'm trying to not use stuff unless I just absolutely have to because I've noticed that after I get them demolded I have to come back then and clean up the kind of messes with the finish. Okay. There we go. Got it out of there without anything. All right, you guys. Here it is. Here's all of our flowers. What do you think? Pretty, nice and round. No bubbles up here at the rim. The base is nice and smooth. Um, I have a couple little just dried pieces of resin that must have been from the inside of my mold, which I'm not real sure how that happened because it wasn't used. But uh, anyway, I can come in and just kind of clean that off. But yeah, what do you think? It's kind of different. But it's pretty. I could see how maybe having some flowers uh, with, you know, some real vibrant colors would be really fun to do too. And yeah, I like it. The, the bottom is nice and see-through. Not a lot of bubbles down in there. I mean, I see just barely any micro bubbles. It almost just looks like just a couple pieces of dust in there. Yeah, this is actually really kind of cool. This would be fun to keep maybe Maybe in, like, even in a bathroom, maybe, I feel like you could easily put some um, cotton tip swabs or something in here, or some little cotton balls. 
um, if yeah, because you've got the lid, and you know, the lid goes on like this, and you can have it sealed, but I chose to have the lid facing up because I kind of like this look a little bit better. It looks more like a little like a little jar, you know. Um, you can put some little rubber feet on it if you want to, but you know, it just kind of sits on there really, really well. You don't really have to do anything to keep it from sliding off. But anyway, this was fun. And I will bring you down to kind of look at this at a different angle here so you can see, see it a little closer. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. It's, it turned out really pretty. I feel like I could have added some of those green ferns in here back behind you know, kind of back behind the roses so there was more greenery in there. But having it a, a bit translucent is fine too. Thanks for joining me everybody. I hope you enjoyed doing this little jar with me. Let me know what you think and I will see you next time. Thank you.